What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the COVID variant update for Friday, February 2nd, 2024. It's been a very long time since we've done a dedicated COVID variant update for the United States, and I feel something that is long overdue. We do have more regions reporting once again on the Nowcast page of the CDC. Not all regions are reporting, and you'll see that in this update, but the majority are. So I figured it would be a good idea to just go region by region for the ones that are reporting and give you an update on what the variant situation looks like. On the big national picture today, you will notice something very interesting that has happened. The JN.1 variant is now starting to clear the board. It has nearly just completely cleared the board. JN.1 on the national level is now at 93.1%. That's right. It is over 90% now. We have not seen a variant do that in a very, very long time. Matter of fact, I think it's probably before I started this channel since the last time that that has actually even happened. HV.1 would be the next variant. That's just at 2.3%. Then comes JG.3, which is just at 1.1%. I mean, it is just absolutely remarkable how fast the JN.1 variant cleared the board. If we go back, all the way back to October, you can see here, JN.1 in October was just 0.5%. Then we go to the first week of November of last year, JN.1 was at 3.4%. Then it went up to 7.9%. Then it more than doubled to 20.7%. Then it went to 42.3%. Then after the holidays come to New Year, it was all the way up to 67.2%. And then look what happened as we came into the middle of January, 84.3%. And now today, being the first Friday in February, it's all the way up to 93.1%. And remember, at one time, there were somewhere between 20 and 30 different variants. You don't have that now. You still have some of these uh, little random variants like uh, JD 1.1, 0.8%, BA 2.86, that's even down to 0.7% now. HK 0.3, 0.4%, GE 0.1, 0.4, and on and on. Then you have some that are at 0.1%. But it's not the variant soup that we once had. Will we ever see variant soup again? It's possible we could, but at the moment we're not seeing that. All right, let's go region by region to the regions that we can take a look at. First one, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. And when we take a look at this region, you'll see JM.1 is even higher here, 95.1%. And the only other one that's over 1% is HV.1 at 2.1%. Now going on to Region 2, New Jersey, New York, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. When we take a look at this region, even higher, 96.2%. HV.1 is at 1.3%. And you can see in this region, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 variants before JN.1. Clearly, it's clearing the board. And the variant soup is finally coming to an end. All right, let's go to Region 3. Delaware, District of Columbia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. In this region, we see that JM.1 is at 92.6%, slightly lower. HV.1 is at 2.6%. JG.3 is still at 1.1%. JD.1.1 is still at 1.1%. And BA.2.86 is still at 1.1%. Now we go to Region 4, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. In this region, you will see JN.1 is at 92.8%. HV.1 variant is at 2.4%. The JG.3 variant is at 1.6%. All right, coming on now to Region 5, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Texas. In this region, the JN.1 variant is slightly less. It's not even over 90%, actually. It's at 88.2%. HV.1 is at 2.9%. 
GE.1 is at 2.3%. BA.2 is at 1.6%. JG.3 is at 1.1%. And the BA.2.86 and JD.1.1 are both at 1%. All right, Region 6. I don't think we can look at Region Let's see. Region 6 may be one of the ones we can't see. Yeah, unfortunately, for those of you living in Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas, can't view you because they don't get enough data to view your region. All right, Region 7 would be Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska. Let's see, can we view this region? I believe we can. Yes. JN.1 is at 93%. HV.1 is at 2.7%. You may recall, back in the day, I would call this the wild card region because there used to be these random variants that would for whatever reason do better in this region than any other region in the united states and jn.1 is so powerful that it just overpowered right through that let's be honest for jn.1 it's going to take something really big to outpace jn.1 jn.1 now being 93 percent it's it's gonna in this region i'm telling you in any region it's going to take something big all right, Region 8, I'm not announcing the states just yet because I don't, yeah, we can't view this region. It would have been Colorado, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Utah, and Wyoming. Let's try for Region 9. Arizona, California, Hawaii, Nevada, American Samoa, Commonwealth of Northern Mariner Islands, and Federated States of Microsenia. And it actually continues on. I don't know if we can view it. Yes, we can. Okay. There will be another region we can't view. JN.1 is at 93.9%. HV.1 is at 2.3%. Then you have all those all small little ones underneath it. Region 10, Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. I don't know that we can review this region. Let's see. Hopefully we can. Sorry, we can't. In conclusion, what have we learned from this? Let's go back to the national level. This is not the national level. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is JN.1. It's a very evasive, very powerful variant. It just cleared the board. It's going to take something really, really impressive to outdo JN.1. And I'm telling you, at some point in time, don't know when that's going to be. It's going to happen. There's already talks of some lineages. We, we touched on this yesterday, how we shouldn't panic over the new lineages until we get more information. And even at that, we should just stay calm, cool, and collective. Things will evolve because no one cares to do anything about it. I mean, we've been going through this for four years now. But the point I'm trying to make is it's going to take something really powerful to outdo JN.1. At the moment, from my personal perspective, I'm not seeing anything new and improved out there that can do that yet. But at some point in time, don't know when, could be tomorrow, could be next week, could be several months from now, something will come and try and outdo JN.1. For the time being, with JM.1 being so dominant, please protect yourself and stay safe. We've talked in numerous videos about how some places, cases are starting to rise again. All right, that does it for the variant update. Thought we would do one of these because we haven't done it in a while. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. Share this with anyone who needs to see it. Of course, we will have our regularly scheduled pandemic update probably in the 5 o'clock hour Eastern time this evening. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I will see you all again later in the day. Stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic afternoon.